If you are in the process of pursuing bariatric surgery, exercise will be playing an important role in your overall success. Not only will it help maintain your lean body mass as you lose weight quickly in the initial months, it will be a key component in maintaining your weight loss for the rest of your life. Hi, I'm John Graham, Director of Sports and Human Performance here at St. Luke's University Health Network. And with me today are Terry, Lisa, and Heather, and we're gonna show you how to exercise both prior to your bariatric surgery and at the completion of your bariatric surgery. The goal for this exercise program is to help you to increase lean body mass, burn body fat, and become more physically fit so that you continue to make good progress as you're going through your program. All right, so to start today, let's start out with a basic warm up. And Heather, uh, Terry, and Lisa are gonna join me in our little warm up here as we get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna start walking in place. So I want everybody to walk in place, and we're gonna keep walking in place for about 10 to 15 seconds just to make sure you're nice and loose and ready to go. All right, keep it going, another, 10, another couple seconds here. All right, now let's start marching in place. So now we're gonna bring our knees up a little bit higher and get more of a march as opposed to a walk. We're increasing the intensity of our exercise, loosening our leg muscles up and getting ready for our exercise session. All right, now let's bring our heels up towards our buttocks. We're gonna try and bring our heels up, get those hamstrings and the back of the legs nice and loose and ready to go so that we're truly ready to get started with our exercise program. Everybody keep moving here. All right, now I want you to stop your feet and we're gonna start with our upper extremity. We're gonna start with a horizontal chest press first. Just pump your arms right out in front of your body, alternating arms on each repetition, pushing your hands directly in front of your chest on each repetition. Get yourself nice and loose, ready to go. Good, keep going. All right, now we're gonna to go to a vertical press, so we're gonna do our shoulder press. Push your arm up, alternate sides. So we're getting our shoulders loose, our upper back muscles, everything's getting ready for our exercise session so that our muscles are good and loose before we start moving them and doing some strengthening exercises with them. Keep going, a couple more repetitions here, and then we're gonna switch. All right, now we're gonna to switch to some shoulder motions. What I want you to do is make small circles going forward. And for those of you that have shoulder pain or shoulder discomfort, just keep your hands slightly below shoulder height and make sure you keep these circles in a small circular fashion. Let's reverse it, let's go backwards now. How we doing ladies, everybody okay back there? Okay. All right, and that completes our warm up segment. Great job. Okay, now that we're warmed up, let's start with our lower body first. So we're gonna work on strengthening our leg muscles. And the first one we're gonna start with is a real simple one that everybody needs to be able to do because obviously we need to be able to get up and down out of a chair every day in our daily life. So the first one we're gonna to do today is called a chair squat. And basically what we're gonna do is 10 repetitions of squatting down, touching the chair with our buttocks, and then standing right back up. By doing this exercise, we're gonna be working our frontal thigh muscles, we call our quadriceps the back of our thighs we call our hamstrings, and also our buttocks muscles, okay, which we call the gluteus muscles. So let's start. Ladies, when you're ready, we're gonna begin. We're gonna do 10 repetitions. So we're gonna squat down, touch the chair, press up. Squat down, touch the chair, press up. Squat down, touch, press up. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Four more ladies, down, up, down, up, down, up, and one last time, down, up. Great job, okay. Our second exercise we're gonna do is called a step up. Now when you're doing this exercise at home, basically what you can use is a step in your house, and if you have a railing next to you, that's fine to use if you need it for balance purposes, but my great participants here are gonna do it without their railing, so we're gonna do it on one of our step boxes here. And as we step up, the key thing I want you to think about is as you step up, the opposite foot will come down first. So if we step up with our right, that means our left foot comes down first. We're gonna begin with our right leg, tap with our left, and then step down, and then we'll switch to the left leg. Let's start with our right, right leg up, tap, and down. Left leg, tap, and down. Right leg, 
tap and down. Left leg, tap and down. Right leg, tap, down. Left leg, tap, down. Right leg, tap, down. Left leg, tap, down. Right leg, tap, down. And left leg, tap, down. Excellent job. Okay, let's work on the frontal thigh muscles. Let's go sit in the chair. And as we do this next segment, we're, gonna, we're hitting the frontal thigh muscles, we call our quadriceps. And all I'm gonna ask you to do is put your heels on the ground, toes up off the ground, and we're just gonna raise our legs up and down 10 times. So, let's begin. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, halfway. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and down. Super job. Okay, we're gonna stand up. Let's go to the left side of our chair. Okay, and the first one we're gonna work on is the right side here. We're gonna hit our hamstring muscles in the back of the thigh by bringing our heel up towards our buttocks. So on this one, just want you to raise your leg. Ready, up and down. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Super, switch to the other side. Now we'll do our left leg. Ready, up, down, 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 up, and down. Super. Go back to the left side of your chair again. Now we're gonna hit the outer thigh, or the side of the buttocks, we call it the gluteus medius and minimus, and we're gonna do what we call a hip abduction. So we're gonna take our leg out to the side. Let's start with our right leg. Ready, begin. Out, down, 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 out, and down. Let's switch to the other side. Everybody ready? Out, down, 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 out, and down. Okay. Now we're gonna sit back in our chair and we're gonna work our inner thigh muscles with an exercise we call the towel squeeze. And you can use a towel or a pillow, anything you have at home that allows you to squeeze your two knees together. Just place the object between your knees and all we're gonna do now is we're gonna squeeze as hard as we can. So squeeze nice and tight, hold it, keep holding it, keep holding it. Okay, release it slow. Let's do it again. Ready? Squeeze. Hold it. Hold it. Great job. Squeeze that towel or squeeze your pillow, whatever you have. And let's do one more time. Release it. And now squeeze it again. We're going to keep holding. Hold it tight. All right. Super job. Great job, everyone. Okay, one more thing to do for the lower body. Let's step to the back of our chair one more time. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna push up on our toes, okay? 
and we're gonna hold at the top position before we come back down. So everybody ready? Up, down, 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 up, and down. Good. Okay, now that we've finished the heel raise, we're gonna start on our upper body exercises. And the first one we're gonna do is called a wall push-up. So me and the girls, we're gonna go back against the wall here. And we're gonna position our feet so they're away from the wall just a little bit. Our hands are gonna go on the wall. And make sure you pick a wall at home that you don't mind putting your handprints on. Just kidding. And all we're gonna do is put our hands slightly below shoulder height. Feet about shoulder width apart. Head up, and now we're gonna press to the wall slowly by bending at our elbows. Come down, and now press back up. Go down, 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 back up, go down, back up, and one more time. Down and up. Super. Okay, we're gonna go back to our chairs now. And the next exercise we're gonna do is called a one-arm row. Now with the one-arm row, we're gonna work using some resistance. Now you may not have a dumbbell at home, and if you don't, that's okay. Some of the things you can use as weighted implements are soup cans or a can of fruit, something you might have at home. Or another thing that works really well is to take a small jug of either orange juice or milk, an empty container, and fill it with water. And you can fill it to different levels to make it a different resistance if you so desire. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do our right arm first. So to do our right arm, we're gonna stagger our right foot back. Our left hand's gonna go on the chair. We're gonna lean forward slightly, holding the dumbbell down towards the floor, and now we're gonna pull it up, right to the side of our ribs, back down, back up, back down, back up, back down, up, and down, up, and down, up, and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and down. Okay, let's switch to the other side. So now we're gonna work our left arm. So we're gonna stagger our left foot back. Right hand's gonna go on the chair. Everybody ready? Begin. Up, down, 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 up, and down. Super, okay, great job everyone. How are you guys feeling so far, okay? All right, now the next one we're gonna do is our lateral raise, so we're gonna need two dumbbells, okay? Or two cans of soup, or two cans of fruit, or you can take two jugs at this point. All we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring our arms out to the side to no higher than shoulder height. And if you have any kind of shoulder pain or discomfort, you can go lower than shoulder height. Additionally, if you have shoulder pain and it's significant shoulder pain, the alternative to doing this exercise is you can come forward as opposed to the side. And when you come forward, you wanna alternate the arms, okay? Ladies and I are gonna go out to the side today, but just keep in mind you could do the opposite by going alternate arm to the front. Let's start with lateral raises. Everybody ready to go? Up, down, 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 up, 
and down. Super. Okay, let's sit down in our chairs. Okay, all we're going to do on this one now is we're going to lean forward slightly. So we're going to bring our upper body forward, put our arms down on our side. And now we're going to work the rear shoulder and the upper back muscles by bringing our arms out to the side. Up, down, 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 up, and down. Super job. How are we doing? Everybody doing good? Okay, so now we're gonna sit back on the chair and we're gonna do an alternate arm bicep curl. So we're gonna alternate arms. We're gonna start with our right arm first. Let's go right arm, curl up and down. Left arm, up, down, right arm, up, down, left arm, up, down, right arm, up, down, left arm, up, down, right arm, up, down, left, up, down, right, 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 up, down, left, up, down, and right, up, down, left, up, and down. It's a fantastic job. Put one of the dumbbells down, and let's step to the back of our chair. We're gonna work our right arm first on what we call a tricep kickback to work the back of those arms. Let's put our right foot back, stagger our feet, bend forward slightly, leaning on your chair, and we're gonna press the dumbbell back away from your body. Back and in. Back, in, 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 back, and in. Let's go to the other side. You guys are doing a fantastic job, everyone. Here we go again. Left foot staggered back. Ready? Back, in, 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 back, and in. Super. Okay, that's the only upper body. How are you guys doing? Good. Now, did you feel your muscles working doing that? Good. That was a good workout? Okay. Now that we've finished the upper body exercises, we're going to work on our core muscles. And to do that, let's just put our dumbbell down on the floor, and we're going to grab our jump ropes here. But you can use anything at home that allows you to wrap something around your waistline. You can use a piece of string, a rope, a belt, anything that is long enough that you can wrap it around your waistline. And what we want you to do first and foremost is just wrap the instrument around your waistline right about at belly button level. And all we're gonna do is just grab onto the cord and we're gonna pull in on our abdominal muscles. So what we're gonna do is try and contract our transverse abdominus and our abdominal muscles by pulling in and using the rope to kind of help us by pulling the rope tighter to our waistline. Everybody pull in. And we're going to hold, and now we're going to release slowly, come back in, hold, release slowly, back in, hold, release, back in, release, back in. 
Release. Back in. Release. Back in. Release. Back in. Release. Back in. And release. Excellent job. Okay, let's put the ropes down. All right, and to finish our exercises for today, we're just going to do a little light stretching just to kind of bring ourselves back down to our resting level. So to start, let's just take our chin and rotate it out over our right shoulder and hold it there. Obviously, we're stretching our neck muscles here. And now let's go the other way. Great job. Okay, let's grab our arm behind the elbow, pull it underneath our opposite arm, stretching our shoulders and upper back muscles. And now let's reverse and go the other way. Okay, let's take our fingers, interlace them, push our palms up to the ceiling. Let's bring one hand down, put it on the opposite shoulder. So let's put our left hand on our right shoulder, grab the elbow on the opposite side. And now let's reverse it. Let's go the other way. Let's put our palms together behind our back and lift up. Okay, let's sit down in our chair. And let's pull one knee up to our chest. Try and bring our knee up. And let's switch, put that foot down and do the other side. And let's straighten our legs out in front of us. We're gonna reach down towards our feet, keep our feet on the floor. Stretching our hamstrings and our lower back muscles. Okay, excellent. Let's take a deep breath in. Bring our arms up overhead. And exhale as we bring our arms back down. Let's do that again. Bring our arms up and exhale down. Okay, now that concludes our exercise session for today, but a couple things to keep in mind. First and foremost, people often ask, how do I get better with this routine and how do I add to this routine? Well, the simplest thing that you can do is now that you've been able to do it one time through, is add a second time through. So do the whole entire circuit a second time. And then as you become very comfortable with the exercise routine, you can add a third circuit. Another very important thing to keep in mind is the value of doing at least 15 to 30 minutes of cardiovascular exercise every day, either in the form of walking, um, either outside or walking around your neighborhood, or walking on a treadmill, or going on a stationary bike or some other cardiovascular exercise piece that you can do for 15 to 30 minutes of consecutive exercise. And one final point, if you have any questions regarding your exercise program and need any additional support, please make sure you consult one of our exercise physiologists here at St. Luke's University Health Network who'd be happy to help you to continue to get your exercise program better and make advancements. Thank you for your time today and we're glad you were able to participate with us. As we finish today, I, one other important thing that I wanted to mention is I wanted to thank our wonderful exercise participants, Terry, Heather, and Lisa for participating with us today and enabling you to get a better workout and a better exercise session. I'd like to also thank Ann and Chris who were here to help us 
promote this video and put this video together today. Without their assistance, we wouldn't have a video. So thank you so much and thanks for being here today.